guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do others like this meal planning video you're about to see here. stopping by and tuning in and thank you so much for all the love that you sent forth in your comments regarding my husband's retirement and our new plans our new financial goals and everything like that I'm really really excited to continue to share that journey and you know how it goes and if there's ups if there's downs and um, any mistakes or changes that I could have or should have made along the way I'm just really looking forward to that more about that to come this week. But in the meantime, let's talk about this week's meals. So I've been using this Happy Planner Meal Planner since about the beginning of the year. And it's working out really well for me. I love this. And I, I've said in a couple previous videos, I've always... I have not always. I have two Happy Planner recipe planners, uh, recipe keepers, and they are so, so nice. Um, and I get a lot of use out of those still. So whenever I find something that we really love for dinner or whatever the case may be, I always try to just write it all out in that book just so I have everything in one place. But this is so nice because let me zoom in just a bit. This is a weekly vertical layout, and this is the first year that I've seen these. And I don't know if you guys know or not. I don't know if they've ever had the meal planner before, but um, meal planning and a happy planner is not new to me, but the layout already being done and formatted for me is. So I'm really, really enjoying it. So they have sections here for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks every single day. And then down here they have ingredients to prep, but I'm kind of using that as a grocery list. And what I do is I go through what we're supposed to be having, what's needed, what ingredients are needed for those particular dinners or meals. And then I write down, you know, a general list down here that I fine tune, you know, while I'm at the grocery store, or right before I go to the grocery store. I always double check the cupboards and the fridge and everything just to make sure that I'm not buying something that I already have, which is a mistake that I used to make before I would meal plan or before I ever got into meal planning. I found that I was either letting things go bad because I didn't have have a solid plan on what to do with certain things. I just bought them because they sounded good. And yeah, we would make that this coming week, but we never did. And so when I have everything down on paper and I can just refer to it throughout the week and, you know, and stick to our plans, that prevents a lot of waste for us, a lot of spoilage, and also buying things that we already have on hand or don't actually need. So I'm going to go through an entire week's worth of upcoming meals. We're eating out a little bit more than we should be. Um, it's like, you know, at least two times a week now. Um, it's just my husband and I. We don't have any kids. My nephew no longer lives with us. And if you miss... Ooh. And if you missed my previous video, um, I did give a little bit of an update on him, but I'll, I'll do so again. But um, he's doing really, really well. And so since it's just my husband and I, and my husband works until, you know, around six o'clock, usually every day, sometimes later, sometimes it's just easier for us to grab something or get takeout, which I know is the easy way out. Um, and it's not on my healthy journey, but it, it's real. I had to pause to cough. And if you guys know me, you know that I'm super paranoid about getting sick. I've had two COVID tests this weekend, two at-home COVID tests, overkill probably. Um, did it make me feel better? Yeah, but I am, I'm, I guess I'm having like a bit of an asthma sinus flare. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, I'm having to pause the cough, no fever, nothing like that. Um, thank God, you know, knock on wood, but, um, yeah, I'm just not feeling hundred percent. So I may have to pause again. Um, but well, like I was saying, we're eating out a little bit more than we should be, or it's good for us, or it's just financially, good for us. Um, and on a regular basis, it usually falls on a Tuesday because my husband's off that day. And you guys are probably thinking, well, that's a great day for him to start dinner, you know, and, um, you know, he's already home and stuff like that. But usually he has a pretty long to-do list on his days off. And, um, you know, he's either busy running around or, you know, he has his own appointments or he's doing something around the house. And so, I get off work at four o'clock typically. So we just meet at this little diner that is so inexpensive for the meals that we get there. We literally could not cook for the two of us for the same price. So it's just 
it just makes sense in so many different ways. So usually we do that on Tuesday. Um, we've been going out on Saturdays a lot, but last night um, we ended up going to my niece's house and I planned for that. I thought we were going to go out, but we ended up just staying at her house and she had everybody over and it was really nice and we had a great time. And so that worked out really well. But Saturdays, we kind of like to have a date night um, where we just like pick somewhere really good to go. But on Fridays, the little diner I was talking about, they usually have like fish specials and I love fish. Uh, my husband usually gets like a beer batter if he gets fish, but I like all kinds and they have at least 10 different fish specials for under $10. I mean, it's really, really affordable and you get two sides with it and their iced tea is, ugh, it's the best. So <laughs> that's kind of why we're doing that but anyway real life real life I can't sit here and say oh we never eat out and we never do this and you know because we do so um I'm going to go down the list of the things we have planned for this week and I'm also going to do some footage of like grocery shopping coming up I have a little bit already that I'm going to incorporate but I also want to do grocery hauls and I may start showing some of the meals and putting the price configuration that matches them. Just so you guys kind of have an idea of what you can make per serving, you know, for X amount of dollars. And I think that would be kind of a cool thing to do. So on Monday, I'm off. And so I don't have to worry about lunches or anything like that, but my husband has to work. Um, but we do have some things here that he's just probably gonna grab and put together. We're gonna have something called sticky chicken. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. And basmati rice. And it is such a good and easy recipe. All you do is you um, saute your chicken, chicken breast, and we'll do like two chicken breasts, two halves or, you know, maybe three halves or something like that. Because we, when we get our chicken at the store, we cut it apart, you know, we trim it if it needs any trimming at all, but we, we buy pretty good chicken now. Um, and then we freeze it individually one half of a chicken breast at a time. So we'll probably pull out like three because my husband can easily eat two. Uh, so what you do, <clears throat> excuse me, you cut the chicken up into like, you know, small cubes, like bite-sized cubes. You saute it and however you do it, whether you use Pam or olive oil, you season it up how you like your chicken. And then you do a little bit of a sauce. You take the chicken out once it's browned. Then you start making in the same pan a little bit of a sauce. And it's like tomato puree, honey, and soy sauce. And it's very little ingredients of all of those things. But it just kind of is a coating for the chicken. It's not really saucy. And then you serve it with rice. Oh my gosh, it is so easy. It is so quick and it's delicious. So we're gonna have that on Monday. And then Tuesday, um, I'm just gonna write down like I typically do diner. And maybe I'll show you guys my dinners there. I don't know, that might be interesting too, just to show you like what I order and how much it costs and to see it is pretty cost effective. And then Wednesday, I'm going to be making, um, shrimp and spaghetti or shrimp over spaghetti and it's not like a red sauce spaghetti um it's really this is another quick and easy one and what you do is you saute your shrimp super easy and then you mix a little bit of chili paste some garlic um and you cut up some cherry tomatoes, you let them kind of blister and kind of dissolve, you know, into not a sauce, but you know, they're kind of soft and runny. And then you saute all that again with your shrimp, you throw that back in the pan, and then you toss it all over some pasta. It's really, really good. So we're gonna have that. And then on Thursday, we are going to have good old grilled chicken salads. And even though it is a blizzard where we are today, it's supposed to be today and tomorrow, um, we still use our grill outside no matter how cold it gets. Now, if it's covered in snow, we're probably not gonna do it. Uh, but in that case, I get out the good old foreman. Do you guys still use a foreman grill? I think those are fantastic still. They're a little messy because you have to put like the tray underneath just to make sure you catch any like juices or fats, you know, whatever you're cooking, if you're cooking burgers or whatever it is. So it's a little bit messy, but, and you obviously you have to clean it. Some of them have the plates that come out. Ours does, it makes it a little bit easier to clean up, but I love the foreman. I think it's awesome. So we're going to have grilled chicken salads this night and it's just going to be good. And oh, 
I want to get butter lettuce. Do you guys love butter lettuce? I think that's my favorite lettuce now. I mean, I go back and forth between that and romaine, but there's just something about butter lettuce, especially when you buy it in like the, um, like the clamshell pack and it still has the root to it. So it's technically still alive when you buy it. And then you just cut the root off as you're ready to eat it. Oh my gosh. It's fantastic. It is so delicious. So we're going to have grilled chicken salads. And then Friday, I think we are going to have fish. We'll see. And then Saturday is going to be a question mark. We'll either go out, get takeout, or we'll make something at home. Just depends on how we feel. And then Sunday, I'm going to make beef tips with mushrooms over mashed potatoes. And this is such a good dinner. And it's, it's easy. It's not as quick, you know, but it's still not difficult. It's not a difficult thing to put together. And we're going to have a good old fashioned corn with it on the side. So it's going to be like a true home style. You know what I mean? All right. So things that we need, things that I know we need, let's start talking about that. Usually what I do is I segment them by page. So it just keeps it organized, but then I go back and I do everything anyway. So we're going to need some chicken and what I do, if we have something, I'll just go ahead and highlight it so I know that I don't need to actually look for this at the grocery store. And the past couple weeks, what I've been doing is just taking a photo of all of this with my phone so I don't have to bring the book or anything to the grocery store, which wouldn't be a huge deal, but it's still easier just to have this on my phone. Um, and we are going to have rice with this. And we need honey. Can you guys see? Am I? Yeah, I'm in frame. We need honey and soy sauce. We always use like the light soy sauce. And we need tomato paste. You don't use a lot of this. I really need to show this to you guys after we make it because like I said, it cannot be any more simple. And it's so, so good. Uh, and then we need shrimp and basic dry spaghetti. And I want to make sure that we have garlic. I think we do. Usually I just use garlic in a jar. If I'm making something, I'll use garlic in a jar. If my husband's making something, he will literally chop up fresh garlic. And that's just the difference between us. Uh, chili paste. And cherry tomatoes. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I could go for this right now. I think I'm just hungry. Uh, and then that'll be that. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna get some non bread. I love non bread with both these kinds of dishes. I just think that's so good, especially if you throw it on the grill or even if it's small enough to cut up and pop in the air fryer. Oh, it's awesome. Um, and then we need, obviously I have chicken written down. Um, so I'm not gonna write that again croutons. I like croutons on my salads at home. Do you guys like croutons? I do. We need to check on dressing, see what kind we want, see what kind is still in the fridge, and some shredded cheese, except I like to get the blocked cheese at Aldi's and shred it myself. I just think freshly grated cheese tastes so much better. You know, when you buy it in the bag, and don't get me wrong, we buy bagged shredded cheese all the time. But when you buy it in a bag, it almost has like that anti-caking powder in it, like that white stuff that keeps it from like clumping together. And I don't know. I, I just start to hone in on that and I just don't care for it um, as much. And then I want to get some butter lettuce. And I know we didn't pick this up yet. I want to pick up paprika. because we got rid of so many of our spices. They were so old, expired, stale, whatever you want to call it. And then to make the beef tips, we are going to need, I think sirloin I'll use. We're going to need some mushrooms. And what I like to do is I like to mix shiitake with just like white button mushrooms. It just gives it some dimension, you know. I love all mushrooms, to be honest with you. Um, I want to get a packet of McCormick beef gravy. 
I think that's the best. I don't know. I, I like that kind. I like anything McCormick, to be honest with you. I think that their stuff is really good. Um, we're just going to get instant mashed potatoes. And sometimes I get... Sometimes I make my own mashed potatoes. It just depends. And Sunday I might do that because I'll be home. But if I don't make them, sometimes we'll get the ones in the box. Sometimes we'll get like the Bob Evans ones that are in like the refrigerator section. I don't know. Sometimes I just like to keep things easy. And I'm not, I don't really love to cook. So I guess that's kind of where the instant shortcuts come into play. So please don't judge too harshly. I just, I just don't enjoy it all the time. Now, if I'm home like on a week vacation and I have all the time and I know I don't have to get up the next day and I can just do things at my own pace and relax, then I, I enjoy it. But just on a night before work or something, I just really don't. I don't know. And then I want to have corn and yeah, I'm sure that there's other things I need to add to the list. All right, so for sure what I know we have, I know we've got chicken and I know we've got rice. So those are two things I can highlight. I know we have honey. I know we don't have soy sauce. I don't know about the tomato paste. I have to go look. We're going to need some fresh shrimp because we're just using this one. So I just buy it fresh. I mean, I think it tastes good that way. I know we have dry spaghetti, garlic. I'm kind of up in the air with, I think we need that, the kind in the jar that I use. I know we need chili paste. I know we need cherry tomatoes. And I know that we're going to need non bread. Oh, see what I just did? See what I just did? I highlighted what I need. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me lately? Um, so I think what I'm going to do, let's do another system because I don't think. All right, so, oh man. All right, so all these things are things I need, so I'm gonna check them off. All right, so I do need croutons. I may need dressing, I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Shredded cheese, butter, lettuce, paprika. I need all those things. Sirloin mushrooms, McCormick beef gravy, instant mashed potatoes, and I know we have corn. That's it. So. We kind of need a lot of things this week, and I need to stock up on some other stuff too. And sometimes I just put that with the grocery list because things like toiletries, um, things, cleaning agents, you know, products and things like that we use around the house, or if we're buying like toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, you know, whatever the case may be, cold medicines, um, you know, all that stuff. I typically get that at Walmart, you know, and so if we do a little grocery shopping there, then I can just knock out all those things at one stop and it's really, really easy. So I am probably going to do that and then our bill is probably going to be higher than what I budgeted, but I'm just going to add some money to it so it just covers like the necessities and basics that we need to stock up on because it's been a, it's been a minute since we bought some of those things. So this is our meal plan. And like I said, we're not big breakfast eaters. I really never eat breakfast. Um, it's so, so rare. But I do eat lunch and I pack my lunch every day at work. And um, my husband packs his lunch too. You know, I don't eat a ton of leftovers because we typically don't cook a ton to have leftover. If we have anything left over, my husband will take it or he'll eat it later on in the night or something like that. Um, but if we have a lot left over, he'll usually take that in his lunch. Um, for me, I take really simple stuff. Like I will take a frozen entree. I will take a little packet of like rice aroni, um, like an applesauce, like a combination of things. I'll take like laughing cow cheese and crackers. Like I just do it super basic at work and also because I have kind of a funny stomach and I just don't like to eat a lot of food while I'm at work during the day. So I do a lot of muscle milk, which has no dairy in it, even though it says milk. I drink a ton of water, a ton of tea. Um, and if I snack, it's like pretzels. I try to eat things that aren't going to be too disruptive to my stomach um, because I hate hate, hate having a stomach ache at work. It's the worst. So, well, no, I mean, it's not the worst, but 
I just don't like it. So here is our plan. I know this was long, but I like to talk it out with you guys because sometimes I make changes and I need to explain why sometimes we do the things that we do. I think it's just more helpful that way. But stay tuned because I do have a, a regular plan with me coming. And I also want to talk to you guys more about the mortgage, what I'm doing with some of my funds. I have some cash on hand. I want to show you what I'm doing. I have brand new sinking funds and I have even a couple other things that I have planned that I'm either going to need a sinking fund for, we may need a loan for, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So a lot of decisions that are going to be made. Um, as far as like the renovations in our home, I know this is the end of the video. There's probably very few of you here to hear this, but as far as the renovations go, we're supposed to hear back from the contractor that came to our house. And I am kind of holding my breath about this because I know it's going to be super expensive. I just don't think he's the one for us. I think he just is a little bit too elevated for our, our, our price point. Um, but I'm going to share all that with you because some of you may find that interesting um, and let you know what our, our long-term plans are to either cover that or go to plan B, which would be contractor B. Um, we do need to get more than one estimate, obviously, but at this point, it's so difficult to get anybody to even get you on their books or even call you back. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. So I'll keep you all posted. Lots of interesting things coming this week. Interesting to me. I hope they're interesting to you. If you haven't already subscribed, please, I would love if you stuck around and did so. It would mean a lot to me because I have so much to share with you. And also I will be uploading my printables, I believe tomorrow. And my video tomorrow is going to be a little bit late too, but it will be up during the day as scheduled. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.